Wars Kids. My name is Scotty and I'm going to read you Psalm 9 verse 1. I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your marvelous works. I hold the doors to the way. We just walk the doors to the way. We can pay outside, hold their hands, and give them a big hut. Amen. Hey there, South Shores kids, and welcome back. Thank you for all of you who came out to join us at a not-so-silent night last night. We hope you had a great time ringing in Christmas with us as we celebrate the real reason for the season, Jesus. All right, guys, once again, I can't find Mr. Brian. I'm going to catch him one of these weeks. Maybe you can help me. On the count of three, oh, Mr. Brian. One, two, three. Oh, Mr. Brian. Oh, man, she's coming. She's close. I know she's close. I can hear her just around the corner. What am I going to do? What am I gonna... She's so close. Steady, steady, steady. <gasps> Foiled again. All right, kids, you know what time it is. Stand up and let's get ready to sing.
you for this whole life in your life. And thank you for everything you've given us. And thank you for the church family. And, and I hope the virus will stop. And the, the, amen. There you are, Mr. Brian. I finally found you. What are you doing? Presents! Presents! Well, first off, it's not Christmas, so we gotta wait a little bit more. It's presents! Okay, get, Brian. Get, 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 get. What Look if, at these. Do you think they're all for me? What if I told you. No, 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 get Okay, tell me. What if I told you that there is an even better present that couldn't fit under a box? It's not under get the presents. tree, and it's for everyone in the world. Oh. You got anything else for me? No, Brian, Brian, it's gonna be the best present ever. How do I know? Watch this. When sin entered the world, peace between God and people was broken. But God promised to send a rescuer. Many years later, Isaiah the prophet said, a child will be born for us, a son will be given to us, he will be called the Prince of Peace. Isaiah said the Prince of Peace would be from Galilee. God chose to send his son, Jesus, to the earth as a baby, and he chose Mary to be Jesus' mother. During the time Mary was pregnant with baby Jesus, the Roman Emperor Caesar Augustus announced that everyone needed to be registered for a census. Every person traveled to the town where his family was from, Mary was engaged to Joseph. Since Joseph was a descendant of King David, he and Mary left their home in Nazareth of Galilee and traveled to Bethlehem, the city of David. While they were there, the time came for Mary to have her baby. Mary and Joseph looked for a safe place for Mary to have her baby, but every place was full because of all the people who were in town to be counted. So Mary and Joseph found a place where animals were kept, and that is where Mary had her baby. She wrapped baby Jesus tightly in cloth, and she laid him in a manger. In the same region, some shepherds were staying out in the fields and watching their sheep to protect them from thieves and predators. All of a sudden, an angel of the Lord stood before them. A bright light shone around the shepherds, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I have very good news for you. Today, a Savior who is Messiah the Lord was born for you in the city of David. Then the angel said, You will find a baby wrapped tightly in cloth and lying in a manger. A king in a manger? That was no place for a king. All of a sudden, Many angels appeared, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to people he favors. So the shepherds went straight to Bethlehem to find baby Jesus. They found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the feeding trough. The shepherds went and told others about the baby Jesus. Everyone who heard about Jesus was surprised and amazed. Mary thought about everything that was happening and tried to understand it. The shepherds returned to their fields, praising God because everything had happened just as the angel had said. The birth of Jesus was good news. Jesus was not an ordinary baby. He was God's son, sent to earth from heaven Jesus came into the world to bring peace between people and God. He came to save people from their sins and to be their king. In our Bible story today, we learned about the birth of Jesus. Now I know what you're thinking, Miss Katie, you're a week early. Yes, well that might be true. We can celebrate the birth of Jesus any time. The birth of Jesus was the most gracious, long-awaited gift that wasn't just for me and it wasn't just for you. It was for all people who choose to believe in him. 
All right, guys, now it's time for questions from kids. All right, South Shores kids, guess what? This is the second week in a row we have a question from one of our own. Dear sweet Shannon Kehoe had this question for us. Pastor Brian, I have a question for you. Why did Jesus get baptized even if he lived without sin? That is a great question, Shannon. And a lot of people have asked that same question. I thought about it myself. Now, let's back up just a little bit, okay? So we're talking about a guy named John the Baptist. I don't know if you remember the story of him, but the Bible tells us in Luke that John was born with the Holy Spirit. And so John was out preaching in the wilderness and he was asking people to repent, to turn from their sin and turn toward God and be baptized. So he was doing God's work. Now, Jesus came along and he said, baptize me. And John said, no way. I'm not even fit to tie your shoes. You should be the one baptizing me. And Jesus said, no, this is the way that it needs to be, to be right. So a lot of people have different thoughts on this, but the main point that I've seen doing my research is that Jesus was fully man and he was showing by example um, what to do in order to be obedient to God's word. So he was being obedient, following what God had had John spreading the message to do. There's some other views as well that are a little bit deeper. We won't get into those today. But as you can see, Jesus was just setting the example for all of us. That was the beginning of his ministry that day after he was baptized. For the next three and a half years, he walked the earth telling people, showing people all about the goodness and greatness of God. But in no way did Jesus ever sin. The Bible tells us that when people were being baptized by John, they were confessing their sins as they did so. The Bible also tells us, tells us that Jesus never sinned. And when he was baptized, there was no confession because there was nothing to confess. Thank you so much for your question. Kids, send us some more. We love this. Y'all have a great day. Brian! 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 <sighs> I was hoping he'd be at the presents. All right, South Shores kids, well, I was really hoping he would say goodbye with me this week, but once again, I can't find him, so I guess I'll do it myself. All right, South Shores kids, that's a wrap for another Great Kids Church. We'll see you all next week. Bye.